Well, I was watching more about the news and seems like FBI, CIA, all that stuff were just, you know, they're all, they had too many people, there's too many groups that, you know, interest groups and stuff, private interest groups, a lot of them just investment kind of groups, you know, who manipulate things, right? And the FBI, you don't know what families, you know, they're from, where they came from, who they are. You can actually legally be a witch. So an FBI could be a witch or they could be a homosexual into anal sex and that's legal. So they could be doing that. Um, you know, as far as the morality and the character and, um, you know, they take those lie detector tests now, but, you know, I think pretty much they're trying to catch the Americans because they, every, they got so many immigrants now. So now it's all about these people, you know, and their global stuff. And, you know, pretty much, they pretty much probably more likely would protect the Italian mafia from the people deciding that we're going to get rid of the Italians, you know, who are, who are American, um, who, who do this stuff, you know, the, the, the it, it's just, you know, I mean, I, I just, I, I wonder which one's worse, the FBI or the KKK, you know, because, uh, But I, I don't know. I mean, now it's seeming like who's worse, the KKK or the people that they were persecuting? You know? I mean, it's like... Two wild dogs fighting, you know? And... I think it's worse. I'd rather the KKK myself, because I am a clone American, but... Than, than these FBI guys. Why? It's it's not what the KKK does, but it's it's who they are. As Americans, I mean, it, it, at least even if they were that awful, they did have some more. There was it's more easy to understand how they're American, you know, why they get at least that much on them. They, they're un-American, you know, they, they do now. But who's it, what, the, the, you know, I just put up the thing about the convenience store. And the convenience stores, those big, huge convenience stores, costed less than a crappy house in most cities. A little dinky, crappy house. That... There's just no way there's, a, there's more value to a crappy house than an actual income-generating business that's bigger and has pumps, a huge tank for gas and, you know, refrigerators and display cases. and That's with the inventory and all the food and all that, you know. The average convenience store costs less than the average house. That is treason. And the average mayor, commissioner, congressman, senator, and president are real estate investors or money lenders. Don't know how many judges are. And they appoint the judges, uh, you know. Federal judges. I mean, gosh, Bill Clinton, he put in his nominations and, and, uh, he was a scandalous puke and ancestral born. That's their virtue. That's their legal virtue. George Bush, CIA guy, family dude. I'm sure the spy families are so virtuous.
who like spies when they go to church. I mean, none of them should be there, right? That's the way FBI is, you know. They have a spy on the church. Sure, they're a noble piece of work. All about the morality of society. What's good. You know, gotta protect the witches and the transvestites and what's the most important and then all the foreign born foreigners, you know, they they gotta protect all of them. It's really important, especially the ones who got kids here, you know. There's so many now, they can just use them for their politics so they don't need us and they're and that most people in the FBI are colonial Americans. So, of course, we're the bad guys. Yeah. You got dual citizen. You know, okay, there's a declaration of independence from England, but you got dual citizenship from England, Congress. Now, that's treason. Canada, that's treason. to Italy Germans they want control everything changed over to what they do the whole EU you know America's gotta be the equal cause that's what they do over there that's what their communism and everything was about you know oligarchy well Putin's doing oligarchy so we can be an oligarchy that's okay really dumb well, they honor themselves a lot I don't I don't know if people of society honor them anymore who are the average working class person and you know what it says in the gospels and all these people claim to be Christian but it says in the gospels not to be like people who talk for a living but to be like those who work with their hands that's what it says. And that Christ came for the poor, not the rich. And that the rich fall quick. That's all in the gospel. So, I'll look it up. I'll show you guys. 